So as we are looking at real masses, you know, we are looking at cysts, we saw some real cell carcinoma, but then we also need to be aware that there are some benign conditions like renal angiomyolipoma, AMLs. Very well defined, hyperechoic, and is present in the kidney. It may look very suspicious, but it essentially contains fat, smooth muscle, dysphormic, dysmorphic blood vessels. It's kind of bright, as you can see, very bright. But again, this is all relative because if we had a patient with a chronic kidney disease, this kidney may be looking very bright, and you may not even see the structure. So be aware of that. And uh, most hyper echoic renal lesions measuring less than a centimeter so if the diameter we measure it diameter if it's less than centimeter we just do follow ultrasound and let the patient know we have a kind of a suspicious lesion but perhaps it's just benign and you want to seal follow-ups and make sure it's not growing and then one study reported that 32 percent of the renal cell carcinoma up to three centimeter were hyperechoic and could mimic AMLs. So real cell carcinoma could look like it, but these two particular cases were actually reported as renal angiomyolipomas. So I'm showing you these cases so you can get an idea as to what they are. So don't jump on the conclusion and say, oh, you have a real cell carcinoma. This is, uh, but I think your best bet is going to be following the diameter. If it's less than one centimeter in diameter and both axes, you know, uh, then unlikely that it's going to be something serious.